Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, just off the strip at 7770 Dean Martin Drive, halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada. You gotta come check us out. We got muscle cars, supercars, Al Capone's car, Tupac's car. You gotta come check us out. You gotta come see us sometimes. Free to get in. Uh, maybe you find something you really like and take it home. Like this 1970 Boss 302. Now, before we go any further, I know you got lots of questions. Yes, it's the correct color. Yes, it's the correct interior. Yes, numbers matching 302 four barrel. Unbelievable. This is a super rare uh, blue metallic paint. Barely any of these suckers came with them. They made almost 8,000 Boss 302s in 1970. Um, and it's certainly not many in this rare uh, blue metallic color. So that's really sharp too. Now look, it's not a perfect car. We're gonna go over what's not perfect about it. If it ever was repainted, it was a long time ago because there's just a little bit of wear. It's not a whole lot of wear. I've already ran my hand across the, see it's dirty. Ran my hand all the way around the bottom edges of the car to see if I felt any bubbling from rust. Um, anything that would jump out and bite me as being bad. And I've, so far, I've found nothing. The front spoiler, although it's a little dirty, dirty, still needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's in really good shape. The hood's good. There's a small mark on the top of the, of the hood I'll show you. Um, there's a small ding in the back underneath the spoiler that I'll show you. But the chrome is fabulous. The body's nice and straight. All the stripes line up. The doors close perfect. The roll-up windows work great. The interior's in fabulous shape. What I do here is uh, for celebrity cars, in case you've never checked us out before, we don't get one of these 302s in very often. Um, so you might be a newbie here to celebrity cars. I'm your living, breathing uh, condition report. So if you're super interested in this car, you gotta follow along with this whole video. Invest the time to watch it. We're gonna put it up on a lift so you can see underneath it. We're gonna go for a drive down the road. We're gonna look inside. We're gonna look in the engine compartment, which is unbelievable, by the way. Okay, so that's why I'm here. Uh, we're not gonna go over how many owners it had, has, um, you know, the horsepower, although I do know what that is. Um, those specifics you can read at celebritycars.com in case you found this video first. Okay, without further ado, let's look at the condition. We're gonna start with the nose of the car. And as you can see, the lower spoil, spoiler is all in one piece. Um, it looks like it might have been redone one day. Uh, and it is very factory uh, original appearing. Uh, I don't know if it's full-blown factory or not, uh, but down here, this blue paint obviously looks fabulous. There's barely any road wear. Looking inside to see the grill and the radiator, all that looks fabulous as well. The chrome, although not absolutely perfect, it's just about perfect. So this chrome bumper is in beautiful shape. This front grill here is wonderful. The headlights look terrific. This molding across the front has a really small ding right there. I'm really being picky here, folks, because that's what you'd do. Maybe you don't want to get on a plane today. Maybe you don't want to travel. You just want this very fine muscle car to just show up in your garage. And that's why I'm doing this stuff. I'm picking all these things apart. Down here, this lower molding here is all straight, is all one piece. Now there's a little bit of wear on that particular molding, but not much. Uh, you could see on camera, uh, I'm being very picky. It's in really fabulous shape. It's, it's, it's uh, not perfect, but it's darn close. So I'm gonna let a lot of that camera do the work today. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check that corner and then I'm gonna check this corner. So let's go look at the bumper over here. These lenses, look terrific. This whole corner piece looks great. I don't feel any extra scuffs or uh, scrapes and all looks good there. So let's go over and check out the passenger side as well. All of this, doesn't. nobody hit any walls, nobody backed in anything or drove in anything in the garage. All this looks terrific. All this looks factory and uh, wow, I'm, I'm, uh, this, is, this is truly an awesome muscle car. Okay, let's look up here on the hood to the stripes and the paint and we have medium blue metallic beautiful paint over here medium metallic blue perfect paint over here the stripes look fabulous they all line up really nice i do not know if they were redone or not but they look uh, proper and uh 
everything a, a, a Boss 302 would have, especially this paint scheme. Okay, now I said that there was a little imperfection over here, and this happens to be where. Um, it could just be wrap, uh, but there's a mark right there. I just want to let you know about it. And another one right there, real small marks. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, they're not terrible. There, there's a little bit of paint missing right here. Small chip, small chip, so small that, again, shouldn't even really pick them out. Over here on this side, there's a small, super small here, super small there. Uh, and then uh, uh, we've got really, really, see the, the, my fingers, how small they are. Um, not until you get up that close to this paint are you going to see anything that I just pointed out. I'm just telling you. Okay, let's stay over here on the passenger side, shall we? I want you to get a good uh, look down there. Oh, I do see part of the spoiler did crack right here. Um, super minor. Uh, take it or leave it. Down here, all of this around here, this whole rim where you'd normally find rust bubbles or something that would aggravate you, even inside this wheel well is all uh, coated and super shiny and uh, you'd be very proud so far to own this Boss 302 Mustang. Okay, and I've already run my hand all the way down the side. I, they do have the rough paint down here. It starts right here, this uh, black down on the bottom, which you know, all these uh, Boss 302s did have. It's a little rough down there and it's very uh, the same all the way down. So that rough paint is supposed to be down there. It's like a flat. It's awesome. It's perfect. I do come on over here on my left shoulder. Small mark right here, small mark right here, probably simply just getting in and out of the car. But what I don't feel at all, folks, are those rust bubbles. I got nothing. We're going to look, put it up on a lift and see if there's anything else underneath it. But as far as I'm concerned, this is about darn nice. Um, the little fitment issue right here, so mild. And uh, maybe a hair bit of uh, some surfacey kind of stuff right there. I'm not going to call it anything because I don't know what it is, but it's so mild that, geez, uh, no dings. Beautiful medium blue metallic paint all the way down the side. Your uh, door handle here is in wonderful shape, nice chrome. All this is beautiful. We haven't talked about the wheels and tires. These are my favorite wheels and tires uh, on earth. Um, the exact same you can find on Buicks. Well, not exact same, but you understand the uh, the whole five star th thing in there with the black. They're all in super shape. All this is very shiny black. It's not pitting, uh, nor is the chrome on the wheels. This is all four, folks. They're all in terrific shape. Okay, we got more beautiful blue medium paint. And back here, I've already done this too. Uh, although a little bit of road wear down there from driving, uh, all of this is nice and smooth. There's no bubbles back here, nothing that causes any kind of caution to me whatsoever. Um, the bumper's in good shape. All this looks good. All this lines up real nice. Uh, I do see a faint scratch right here and a little mark there. They're very faint. Um, I, do, I can get my finger in it, though. All right. Um, a, a detailer might be able to get most of this out, but it won't get all of it out, just so you know. Let's look at this back bumper down here, this lower valence. Man, I, I don't know if you could find nicer. I guess you could, but it's just all one perfect piece. Everything lines up great. The chrome back here is beautiful. This black section back here around the taillights is beautiful. Maybe a little bit of overspray here and there, super small. Boy, the factory could have done that itself as well. Little oversprays here and there. The brake lights look terrific. I see a small little mark right there that is in the black that was painted over, but uh, nothing to be alarmed about. All this blue back here is beautiful. All the letters look good. Very minor, uh, if at all, small pitting on these letters, but extremely minor, not like normal. Uh, up here. See that little ding? That's what I referred to when we first started this video. Not really sure what's going on there, but a little upwards ding right there. I guess somebody had something extra special in the trunk and closed it on it. Not really sure. Small little mark right here. The rear spoiler looks terrific. Small bubble right there on the spoiler. Um, I'm really being nitpicky, folks. 
I, I need to be clear about that. This is an old school muscle car. It's a Boss 302. They, they, they only made, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's 7,000 and change uh, of these cars. So I know if you're sitting at home, uh, you, you would be going at this car exactly the way I am. So I'm just kind of doing the work for you. Hope you can understand. Okay, uh, up here, all this looks terrific. Nice and black. These louvers look in terrific condition. And I'm sure the rear glass looks really good as well. Okay, I want you to see this back here. Could line up a little bit better, but other than that, it finishes down here. It lines up real nice. Just right around this section, it bubbles out a little bit. But there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Just pointing out instances here that you would care about if you're a big time Mustang guy. Okay, chrome around these uh, side markers are great. The stickers are great. Here we go with this fancy blue paint down the side. Uh, I'm gonna say that's a very small chip right there and a very small chip right there. And that's just dirt. Okay, and it also looks like we have a small chip right here that had uh, some touch-up paint put on it. That's the only one I've seen so far on this car. So that's a really good sign. Uh, down here, all this is in lovely shape as well. Not perfect, but still really, really, really nice. I see no signs of any major rust, nor even simple rust yet. Okay, so we got that. Looks like a little small mark right there. Got a little small mark right there and one right there. But these are really small, folks. There's my fingertip. You get to see the size of it. It is kind of in a crappy spot, but once you start to walk away, you don't see any of that at all. My face is a whopping 12 inches from the surface. I already ran my hand all the way down here on this side. Got the rough paint down there as well. It's supposed to be down there. It's very nice. Got a really small little chip right there. rest of the driver's side door. Got a small chip down here, here. Maybe, yes, one right there. And it looks to see as though there's a little bit of a scratch factor right here. I'm not really sure how much, but there's a little scratch there. I did not see until I got all the way down here on the ground and my face right up against it. And working down here, Small chips, just normal road wear. Again, no bubbles. Everything's great. See how these line up real nice along here. And let's finish up with this fender and wheel and tire. Tires look uh, barely ever used. And we have that same marking over here on this spoiler, which kind of sort of makes me think that maybe that's supposed to be there in the how it was built. I don't know, Mustang guy, you tell me. All right, let's look up here on the roof. Look at the reflection of the clouds of the building adjacent. Medium blue metallic, folks. Rare color and is in really in fabulous shape. Uh, I give this whole exterior out of 10. Um, I, 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 I know I was really picky, but I, I, I'd still give it about a 9. <laughs> um, I picked out a couple things. This is a 1970 automobile. Uh, trust me, this wasn't painted yesterday. So uh, I'm still gonna give this about a nine. It's really, really nice, an 8.9, but a nine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna open up the driver's side door and I'm gonna open up the passenger side door while you start looking in there. Okay, folks, I've been in and out of this interior already. This seat is sick, it's perfect. <laughs> The floor, the carpet, everything is perfect. This center console here, if you could come on in, just hang out with me for a second. It's got a couple splotches on it. I don't, you could see it at one angle. You can't see it in another angle. I don't know what it is. Maybe we should add uh, you know, the, this section right here back to our detailers to see if they can't get that out. But it's really mild. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing. Um, you, you tilt your head over this direction, you don't see it at all. Uh, I think this is just, uh, you know, old school plastic fatigue. It's got a Hurst shifter in here. I do not know if this was original to the car or not, but it's not unheard of. It's got a four-speed manual transmission. 
The radio looks terrific. Got an AM radio in there. Our controls are down here on the bottom. All of these things look terrific. Are they 100%? No, but darn close to it. The uh, dash, all the buttons, the brake pedal, the gas pedal down there, all of it uh, looks stock to me. The gauge clusters look terrific. I'll talk more about them once we get in the car and we go for a cruise down the road. The dashboard, although a couple of these little um, added bubbles along here, um, I, I don't think that's anything to be alarmed about. I just think uh, we're in a 1970 vehicle. You decide, Mr. Mustang guy. And the steering wheel looks friggin' awesome. Uh, there's no power steering in this Mustang. I do know that for a fact. So this car did not come with power steering. Uh, you still have the old choke button down here that you'd pull out. I just noticed that now. Uh, still one of the original stickers down here. The, the brake release does work. The park brake does work. I do have it currently in gear now, so it doesn't roll down the hill on us. And let's kindly look into the back. Look how open that is, how nice the carpet is. The chrome looks terrific. I'll run my finger across here. Yeah, look at that. Look how nice and shiny that chrome gets. Got to talk to the detailer again. Uh, that chrome is in almost perfect condition. Actually, it's got a little small pitting to it. Uh, we'll clean this up and get back to you. Uh, you call us up and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll address this. Got a small scratch from this going up and down over here. I'm being really nitpicky, folks. Uh, all this really looks good. The headliner, nice shiny black. Awesome. Forge starting instructions. That's pretty cool too. Look at that. So something very similar came with the car back in the day when you purchased it. The interior lights, both of them back here work really good. I can see them lit up. So, and the uh, floor interior lights, I see all those bulbs are functioning as well. Um, Let's swap sides. Come on over here and I'll come over there. Uh, one thing I didn't get and talk about are those door panels over there. So the passenger side door panel from here, although it might have a mark or two in it, um, 1970 vehicle still looks pretty darn good to me as this pa uh, driver's side door, inside door as well. Uh, I, I can't say anything about it except it's all black and it all looks very nice. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I wanted to point out, I guess, down here is this sill. Uh, notice we've got a little cracking in the paint. Got a little itty bitty surface rust coming out there. This is all very normal for uh, the inside of the door jam on these older cars. So that is not perfect. Um, this is not perfect, but it is all in one piece. It's not all banged up. So it's in really good shape. Check out inside that door jam and you'll see that this car was kept uh, by uh, quite the collector and he wanted it to stay nice. Come on back over here to the driver's side just one more time. And I'd like to talk to you about this metallic blue, uh, very rare metallic blue paint. Uh, I was hoping to find it over there, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, over here on this side, you can see this is where the paint's starting to separate uh, where we're opening and closing the door. This is what also showed me when we back started this video. Um, uh, could this car be original paint? Sure, probably not. Uh, but you can see how this uh, paint is cracking and it's doing some eroding here. Now, once again, I'm not feeling any bumps. We don't have any rust issues down here, except maybe some really slight uh, surface stuff. But uh, it, uh, you, you get my point and why I said that this uh, paint job was done quite a while ago. But other than that, boy, those seats are beautiful. They're correct black bucket leather seats. Uh, once again, we have the correct uh, medium blue metallic paint. Oh, I did want to mention one more thing. Glad you're still with me. This area right here, um, if you could see it by walking back that direction, you'll see some uh, mild bumping in, in the body here. I, I noticed this earlier. I forgot to mention it now but there's some minor bumps uh, right along here. Maybe this car was redone. This is where the welding was done and they didn't uh, sand this and get this perfect. But that's why we see those little bumps along there. So nothing drastic. They don't jump out at me. I forgot all about it, but I just wanted to let you know about it. Okay, let's pop the hood. These Mustangs are easy one-handers here. 
There's your 302, Boss 302 motor. Please catch these indicators of these numbers, so correct heads or not. Um, just wanted to make sure that you saw everything that we have down here. Here's the tag. We'll take good photographs of that so you see it. Um, notice the uh, stickers on the back firewall. Uh, notice the master cylinder down there is all nice and shiny. Yep. And the block is nice and blue. It's all still, it barely looks driven, folks. The top of the radiator is almost almost perfect black paint. This rubber piece right here is in fabulous shape. Uh, if you look down here into this cavity where just a couple of cables are run for the headlights and the radiator, all very, very clean. All of this is super, super clean. What else can we talk about? If you could walk over here and get this side of the engine, says so Boss 3 talk get out of your way. The hinges look awesome, seem to be painted the correct. All these bolts were not painted, holding on these fenders down here. Let's get a good look down there, please, if you will. And the VIN number's up here in the window, uh, very hard to read. So we'll get that, make sure we get that on photograph so we can make sure everybody's talking about the right car. Beautiful, beautiful ride. You get underneath here so they can see all that. And you'll see how nice and easy this closes. Open this up, do it one more time. Got it nice and tight. Close the passenger side door. Let's go check out the trunk. All right, I finally found the key to get this trunk open. Take a look in there. Got a 1970 shop manual. Got the proper carpeting and covering down in the back here. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. And I'm going to pull this up so you can see underneath carefully and you see just some mild dirt potentially some mild surface rust down there but I can already tell you this is a pretty solid car take a look at that everything seems correct got stickers underneath the trunk got a little holder to hold open the trunk if we need it done and let's see the spare if it's a rally rim or not. Nope. It's just a little spare to get you down the road if something happens. So it's not a full size spare, it's just a spare. Underneath the trunk looks terrific. There you have it. Okie doke. Well, I think we've seen just about everything so far externally on the car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this 1970 Boss. 302. I'm cranking up the window over here, the manual window on the driver's side. The passenger side one is up, and as you can hear in here already, it's very nice and quiet. Uh, I do want to mention a couple things while we were moving it around, getting ready to go here. <clears throat> I do see some small rock chips on the windshield while I'm sitting in here uh, in the driver's seat. I did not notice them earlier, uh, but they're really mild, they're really small. All this tells me is that uh, this windshield's been in here for a long time. It could be the original one. I'm not sure, don't hold me to it. But it's got just normal wear and tear on it like, uh, like it would kind of sort of be from back then. Uh, other than that, I have not found out anything additional to talk about. Let's go for a ride, okay? I'm gonna get through uh, gears one, two, three, and four. Uh, we're gonna drive around the building. I'm gonna check the brakes. Once again, this does not have power steering, so I'll have two hands on the wheel as much as I can. Okay, my clutch is in. I'll keep quiet for just a moment so you can hear how this rolls. For the 
record my odometer says 57,476. This particular vehicle, I do not believe that is 157,000. So, okay. The gauges look beautiful, folks. All right, I'm gonna shut it. Clutch is in, first gear. Okay, and I'm gonna hit the brakes real good. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so I had a little bit of a, 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 a back end kind of thing going on when I hit the brakes, but the brakes are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They stopped this car nice and straight, and uh, that's all we really need to be concerned about right now. This one's just fine. Okay, back in the first gear. Okay, foot's on the brake. Here we go, one more time. I'm gonna get through all the gears. One. Two. Three. And four. Nice and straight. My foot's on the brake. My right turn signal's on. I'm gonna shift down into second. Yeah. Notice you don't hear any rattles. You don't hear any squeaks in here. This is awesome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a 70 Bosch 302, well, if you can handle the light, medium, metallic blue, and the four speed, and the manual windows, the four barrel, 302 up front you should probably come and get this one this is awesome it's awesome to drive uh, everything was expected didn't do anything it wasn't supposed to do and uh, this is quite the car I hope you enjoyed the video give us a call on this 1970 boss 302 thanks for him oh I did mention it mean to mention one more thing that I think I said earlier I called these black leather seats I was incorrect these are black vinyl seats. Just needed to straighten that up. Give us a call, 702-818-1031, or go to celebritycars.com, and we'll answer any of your questions. Thanks a lot.